college has come a long way from the traditional classes with professors lecturing at a green chalkboard. With advances in technology, established classes at CBC have been enriched and online courses have been made available. With us now is Deborah Meadows, Dean for eLearning. Welcome, Deborah. Thanks. Great to be here. So tell us, what types of classes are available online through CBC? We have a number of classes that are online. We have just about anything that you can imagine in the way of our liberal arts courses. So you can get a whole associate of, our, of arts and science degree. And we have a number of workforce classes online as well as, well as basic skills. Okay. And so what type of e-learning classes are available? There's actually three different kinds. The first kind that everyone is likely to know about is the one that's on, online or through the internet. And so uh, many students are used to that. We also have hybrid courses where you go to some of the classes right there at CBC and some are done online. And then we have a third option that we have regular courses that are supported and enhanced by a web support. So what's the benefit of choosing distance learning? I think a lot of people see a number of benefits, but probably the primary one is the flexibility. For individuals that are working and have busy families, busy lives, it's really very hard to come to school every day and be here at CBC on a regular basis, let's say 8 o'clock every day. Instead, they can choose their own time to get on the internet and access that class. And within the framework of established by the class, you can maybe go to school at midnight or after the kids are in bed or after everything else is done for your day. Wow, that's an advantage there. So what type of student traditionally excels in uh, e-learning? Well, many types actually excel, but if you have really good writing skills, communication skills, and can read well, I think those are the basics that can really assist you to be successful. The other thing is, is that if you're self-motivated, mm -hmm. have good time management skills, and have goals that you really want those classes done, that can really assist you in being successful. So how does distance um, learning work as far as a class? Well, you can imagine almost a, a regular classroom right there sitting 22 inches away from you uh, in, in front of your computer. And it's just, you'll have discussions there. You can have your syllabus, any kind of handouts. Some instructors do lecturing as well that you can access that lecture. So uh, discussions are particularly, I think, helpful for students because uh, students ask each other questions, the instructor asks questions, so it's pretty much a parallel of a regular classroom. All you need is internet connection. Virtual classroom. Yes. <laughs> um, so what classes are offered online or in hybrid format? Well, I think you could get pretty much anything that you would want. You could have English communications, you can actually take a speech class psychology, sociology, some science classes are available, and many electives are as well. Okay, and if you want to see a full listing of classes, I would recommend them to go to the schedule on, online? Yes, we have a special section of the, sec of the uh, schedule, so you can find out exactly which of our classes are online, and they change each quarter, so if something's not available this quarter, it's likely to be available next quarter. Well, thank you so much, Deborah. What a great opportunity for those who just can't get to campus to get a degree. It really makes a difference for a lot of our students. Well, thank you for being here. Well, this concludes this episode of Campus to Community. There will be contact information at the end of the program on the topics we discussed. For general information about CBC, please call us at 547-0511 or visit us on the web at columbiabasin.edu. For Campus to Community, I'm Don Alford. Thank you for watching. <laughs>